The President's decision to move forward with the transfer of these detainees was a tough call. I supported it. I stand by it. As Secretary of Defense, I have the authority and the responsibility, as has been noted here, to determine whether detainees, any detainees, but these specific detainees at Guantanamo Bay can be transferred to the custody of another country. I take that responsibility, Mr. Chairman, members of this committee, damn seriously, damn seriously, as I do any responsibility I have in this job. In the decision to rescue Sergeant Bergdahl, we complied with the law. And we did what we believed was in the best interest of our country, our military, and Sergeant Bergdahl. The President has constitutional responsibilities and constitutional authorities to protect American citizens and members of our armed forces. That's what he did. America does not leave its soldiers behind. We made the right decision. And we did it for the right reasons. As all of you know, I value the Defense Department's partnership, partnership with this Congress and the trust we've developed over the years. I know that trust has been broken. I know you have questions about that. But I, I'll tell you something else. I have always been straightforward, completely transparent with this committee since I've been Secretary of Defense. I will continue to do that. I recognize that the speed with which we moved in this case has caused great frustration, legitimate questions, and concern. We could have done a better job, could have done a better job of keeping you informed. Like most Americans, I've been offended and disappointed in how the Bergdahl family has been treated by some in this country. No family deserves this. I hope there will be some sober reflection on people's conduct regarding this issue and how it relates to the Bergdahl family. 